Alright, so we're here. We're going to be changing the head today. Get this old one out. Hopefully, get it running tonight. Here with my lucky. So, the goal is we're going to yank this head off, throw the new head that's in the back, and we're going to get it running so we can go to cruise the ad this weekend. So, let's get to it. O'Reilly's uh, pick up some coolant, uh, oil, and a head gasket. Think of valve cover gasket. So we're going to run there real quick and then we're going to get back to uh, tearing apart the head off the EF. I think I'm going to have a gasket for that. I don't think. I don't know. Where's the shot? Where so let me see that gasket. Apparently, O'Reilly's does sell the 38 millimeter gaskets for the domes. That's pretty neat. I didn't know that. There's a part number if any of you actually ever need that. What is this? Oh, that's a 7. 11760. That, that actually comes in handy for me. Alright, here you go. Let's go to the fuck shop. Ugh. Yeah, I need to get this bitch up and going. Been sitting for too long. That's the next project. All right, I'm trying to think if I need anything else. All right, so we have the intake off. The exhausts are just about out. We're about to pull the head off and inspect what is what are all wrong with it. And then we're gonna slap the new head, go get some, go get a gasket and some fluids and see if we can't start this car up today. Yay. He says, yay! <laughs> All right, we'll get back to you guys with this. All right, so there you guys have it. The head is completely off. It's all ready to go. You'll see a lot of his car in some of the later videos. He has a 86 Honda Accord. It's pretty. Achy. Yeah. It's a pretty sick ride. We'll get we'll get it on the channel. It's pretty good. It's pretty. It does the it does the job. It's pretty cool. He's getting some some fun stuff that'll help it go through the tow gate. Yeah. All right. Damn, this thing is good. All right. So we're gonna get back to it. All right. So update. The old motor is out over there. Um, yeah, the other motor, we just took the automatic trans off of, I'm getting all the bolts off and shit, and, uh, we're gonna put a fly, new flywheel on, new clutch, and then drop the trans on. The flywheel is on, now we just gotta get the clutch on, and then we can hook the trans on, and then we can start to drop it in. Um, hopefully it starts, uh, I gotta go get a clutch alignment tool. Yeah, we're gonna get through that and then hopefully we can get it in and started. Gotta switch all the motor mounts from the old junk motor to this single cam. We're actually going to get the clutch alignment tool so that we can put the new clutch on the, and then put the tranny on and then of course from there it's just dropping it in this clunker. So hopefully we can get this thing running by this weekend. There's no no reason we shouldn't. I think I'm gonna continue and take out the AC line because I don't have AC in this and I'm not putting it back in here. It's just gonna be a little cruiser. I might keep on to it. I'm not sure. I mean, having AC in a nice little daily, I mean, it would be kind of cool. So. I don't know. Put down in the comments if you think that I should try and, you know, get AC in this. Because, you know, I do have the condenser. The condenser is right there. The lines are all still there. I mean, I would need to pay have it changed to the right Freon. But, I mean, that wouldn't be too hard. But is it worth it? I mean, 
This is kind of like a budget daily that... The real whole reason I got this car is because of this wing. I actually went to go pick up this wing and he was... A friend of mine was leaving state, so he was like, I'll just make you a good deal, you know. You can you can have the whole car for, for really cheap. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'll, you know, get this one running as a good daily, then I can focus more on my other cars. You know, the other hatch that I have that I got back, that hatch was actually mine back in... I don't want to say like 2012, something like that. Uh, that was actually my hatch that I sold. Actually, I traded for an Audi plus cash. And then I ended up getting it back like two weeks ago. So that's how I ended up with uh, with my other hatch back. And, uh, and then I went to go get the wing for this for that car and some of the other stuff because it wasn't automatic. So I am switching it from automatic to manual and I'm going to be doing a swap on it. What that swap is, I will be letting you guys know in a later video. But this one is going to be just like, you know, a budget throw together and uh, probably just a little cruiser. I'm going to do some paint on it and stuff get it because it's super faded we tried to hand wax it but you know there's too much too much going on but the one thing that was really nice about this is the interior on this thing i mean this isn't an oem seat whatever but the interior in here is super super clean and my buddy malaki the one that you've seen in the earlier videos he actually went through and he had fully cleaned it and detailed it and everything so the inside's looking real good we just got to take the uh, clutch alignment tool get the clutch and the trans on and then we can go to dropping it back in but for the time being i think i'm just going to take out the ac and all the ac unit stuff thing needs a power wash though that's for sure so that is everything caught up um, soon this thing will be rolling and we'll be doing a lot more kind of you know budget kind of DIY stuff with it we're gonna paint it we're going to uh, do something with the fenders in one of the later videos it's got these like whoa I just slipped on oil it's got these like Diamond steely like reps. Well, I don't know if you call them reps, but I mean, they don't look too bad. I'm not sure what they are, but they came with the car. I picked the whole thing up. I mean, now that I've went through it and there was just a pretty much a shell on the wheels. I mean, everything else was kind of useless. I got a few other parts. Um, that came with it. Let's see. So I got a new, some new timing belt and timing tensioner and all that stuff that came with it. That stuff I'm actually going to use before I throw this motor back in. But yeah, the motor that we originally tried that came with it, we tried to put the head that was with it and um, all the holes on the block where the bolt thread into, they're all stripped. Well, I mean, eight out of 10 of them are stripped, so it wouldn't even hold the head down. So that's why we um, took my other single cam that I had in the hatch that I just got back, and we're just going to, you know, clean that one up, throw the clutch on there, and then the five-speed transmission because this one was actually four speed and I wasn't really trying to do a four speed I don't know this just didn't sound even remotely fun for me so um, either way we we're gonna yank the four speed out and put a five speed in there so this just gives us a chance to do that all right there it is 
halfway in. We're about to do the first startup. Fingers crossed. You ready? I'm ready, bro. Everything good? All right. We gotta hook up a battery real quick. We'll be right back in like two seconds. All right, ready? Fucking start! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> We're gonna be ripping the canyons now. Alright, let's button the rest of this sh off. Oh, nah. We'll see where we go. Yeah, we're calling it a night, but it runs. So that's where I'm gonna end it today. Um, if you liked this short video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!